So, you want to get your CCNA in 2019. Let's talk about that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. I'm doing something new. I want to start putting out videos on Monday, or a new video on Monday, because Monday's are hard. They kind of suck, actually. I've always hated Mondays, uh, but we need to change that. It's the beginning of the week. Let's tackle this week. Let's own this week. And I'm hoping this will help me because I'm making a video getting excited about Monday. And hopefully this will help you get excited about Monday. Let's get our goals in line. Let's get our mental focus in the right place where it needs to be. And let's own this week. Okay. So it's a new format. I'm going to go over a few things. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I should call it. Should it be like Monday motivation or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Part of this weekly video is I'm going to answer a question I get a lot or maybe just a, an interesting question. And this week it's going to be, what do you need for the CCNA in 2019? What is the best material? How do you approach it? How do you study for it? We're going to go over that in this video. But first, let's get some motivation. Let's get fired up! I'm going to play a clip real quick from uh, mine and David Bombel's new show. If you don't know about this new show, it's called This Is IT. And we do a show every week where we interview the experts in the field across everything in information technology. And last week we interviewed Stuart, or Big Eel Beard. He is a network automation engineer who works for Cisco DevNet. He's amazing. Check out this clip. Let's find out how you're going to get there and then just go there. Do it. You know, um, you're going to get distracted, you know, um, but that's when you have to really knuckle down. Your friends might call you and say, hey, we're going out for some beers. You want to come or, hey, we're going out for two weeks clubbing in Ibiza or something. <laughs> you know, we're going out with things and there's going to be times where you're going to want to go for that thing. But you've got to keep your eye on the prize. If that's what you want, then you've, you've got to do it. You've really got to do it. It's interesting because, I mean, you, you spoke about that total ownership book. And do you think yeah. you were applying some of those principles before you actually read the book? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was, I was applying those principles. Yeah, it's... So if you want to see the whole thing, and I'm assuming you do because you should, go check it out at the link below or I'll post it up here. Uh, and go subscribe to This Is IT. It's a whole collaboration effort between me and David Bomble. And I think it's going to grow and be awesome. So help us make it awesome. Go subscribe now. Go ahead. And if you prefer to listen to things on podcasts, we got it on podcast too. So Spotify, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, it's all on there. So look it up. This is IT. Links below as well. So I also want to throw in something about what's going on in technology right now. Some kind of news. And not just like, oh, there's a new phone out and this is the tech news and there's a new gaz gadget or gizmo. No, I, I want to make it pertinent to our field. Network engineering or IT, just, you know, enterprise IT people like us. So what is new in the past week? Well, there was Mobile World Congress. I always struggle saying that. A big conference uh, with some mobile news and tech coming out. Uh, the big one that we've seen coming out in the news was the Galaxy S10. Let's go look at it real quick. And not just the S10. We have these new foldable phones from Samsung. I think Huawei came out with one too. They look weird. Now, S10, whatever, it's, you know, it's a new phone with new features. The thing I'm excited about and what's pertinent to us as network people is Wi-Fi 6, the new Wi-Fi standard, 802.11ax. These are some of the, the first endpoints to actually support this new Wi-Fi standard. This new Wi-Fi standard is amazing. It's not just faster, it actually changes the game completely. I'm going to have a video working with Cisco coming out soon about that, so stay tuned. But, oh my gosh, Wi-Fi 6, just drooling, it's amazing. So these endpoints are going to help us change the game. Yes. And then that foldable phone, it's that. Look at that. It's crazy. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's kind of weird. Other big news. Uh, this is big news for people who just love certifications and studying for certifications. Um, CBT Nuggets, you probably know who they are. I work for them, and I've used them, and you may use them for your training resources. They made a big price drop on their training. Have you heard about that? So it's well known that CBT Nuggets is like the best training. And it's always been kind of expensive, like around the $80 a month range, which is pretty high. They lowered that sucker. Check it out. Here I am at the website. If I go to, like, uh, get started. Yeah, look at that. $59 a month. I think the, uh, before they dropped it, it was $84 a month. This is huge. Because like, if you look at what you can get, let's look at the courses. There are just a ton of courses on all kinds of stuff. I mean, the best CCNA course out there by Jeremy Charo, of course. Um, hey, you could also find uh, somebody pretty familiar. Cloud Concepts. 
boom, this guy, that's me. <laughs> and I, I've kind of been talking about it in my last video. I showed you how to put your CCNA Lab GNS3 in the Azure cloud. Uh, so I'm producing Azure content on CBC Nuggets. That's my new venture right now. Uh, I'm preparing people for the AZ900 exam, the beginning exam, the beginner level exam for Azure stuff from Microsoft. So I'm having so much fun with it. The cloud concepts, what you're seeing here is already out. I'm about to release this, uh, the next part of it, which is all the core concepts. And I take you some through some pretty fun labs, deploying uh, virtual machines, networking, uh, containers, and I explain all that stuff. It's, it's pretty fun. I'm, I had a lot of fun making it. Now let's talk about the CCNA. Uh, I'm going to answer this question with what the best materials are in 2019 for the CCNA. I'm going to start with what I think is the best training, no matter what your budget is. And I'll, I'll be conservative, but let's check it out real quick. So here I am at NetworkChuck.com, and this is where I list a lot of my resources for CCNA, and we're at the CSENT page. Now, what is that? Well, this is ICND1. What is that? <laughs> well, you can take two approaches to passing the CCNA. There's the one test approach, which is also referred to as the composite exam, and you take one test, and it covers every topic in the CCNA. Or you can do the two test approach. And what this looks like is you take uh, ICND1 and ICND2, and then you're CCNA certified. Both of these options will get you the CCNA. The costs are the same as well. If you go for the two exam approach, you, you're going to have uh, 165 per test. If I can write this out. If you go the one exam approach, it's going to be 325. It's going to cost you the same. I always recommend the two exam approach. And this first exam is often referred to as the CSENT, or Cisco Certified Entry-Level Networking Technician. Once you pass that exam, you are CSENT certified, and you're halfway to the CCNA. Let's look at the resources real quick. Of course, I recommend subscribing to a really great channel to help you out with CSENT and CCNA resources. Network Chuck is one of those. If you are not subscribed to me right now, well, go ahead and do that. Now, <laughs> just kidding, but seriously. The other resource I would recommend is get to it is David Bomble. This guy posts so many labs and, and cool things about Cisco and the CCNA. He's also another great guy. I mean, we collaborate a lot on stuff. So yeah, you should definitely subscribe to him. Those are all free resources that keep you motivated, keep you inspired. That's what I depend on when I'm going for my certifications. Now notice here, I've got four categories and I think they are necessary if you really want to maximize your study for the CCNA. You want a good book, you want a good video series, you want some good labbing, and you want good practice exams to know when you're ready. Books are pretty basic. There's a lot out there, but I recommend the OCGs, the Official Certification Guides. CSENT, this is the CSENT one here. Um, there's the whole package where you can get the whole CCNA, ICND1 plus ICND2. If you want, you can get these exam crams. This is from my friend and buddy and fellow CBT Nuggeter, Anthony Sequira. And then you have like 31 days before your CCNA exam. I've heard great things about this too, and that's applied to both the ICND1 and ICND2. You always want to have a good book. Videos? Without a doubt. Especially now that CBT Nuggets dropped their price, you want CBT Nuggets. Jeremy Chara's ICND2 and ICND1 training, I don't know why I said it backwards, is by far the absolute best. $59 a month. He'll give you everything you need, pretty much. Everything. Now, I would also recommend David Bomble's course. The list price is 20 bucks. You can usually get a pretty good deal on a, a site called Udemy, which is where you buy this course, for around 10 bucks. It's great supplemental training. He has amazing stuff on it. And also Chris Bryant. He's awesome too. You could get by though with just CBT Nuggets. That's what I would recommend. That's the gold standard. Labs. Now labs are super important when you're studying for any Cisco or technology certification. Why? Because it reinforces everything you're learning. Like when you're learning technology, it's a lot of stuff. You Memorizing all those terms and, and going through all of that, it's hard. So when you are able to take what you're learning and then actually do it, much like anything in life, it helps you understand it better. It makes it become part of your brain. <laughs> it makes it so much better for you. You remember the concepts better, and it's going to help you do the job better, which I'm assuming you're getting these certifications to get a job or do better at your current job, and that's what it's going to do. Labbing is absolutely key. You don't want to skip the lab, ever. So let's check out what labbing options you have. I use this company right here, Boson, to pass my CCMP uh, troubleshoot exam fantastic software. This is the complete package. They give you everything you need. It's on the price of your end, but you get a lot for it. They got pre-built labs you can follow. They give you great examples. They, it's pretty much a CCNA book in a lab. It's amazing. You download it, you run it, you go. It's for Windows only, but most people are on Windows and you should be fine. 
but I highly recommend Boson. The next absolute best option is using Packet Tracer Labs. Packet Tracer is actually a free program you download from Cisco. And when you combine it with this course from David Bomble, it's amazing. He takes you through a bunch of pre-built Packet Tracer Labs. And it's, I mean, it's astounding what you get. Again, you can probably get this for around $10 with a deal on Udemy. So check it out on my website or the link below. This is an excellent option for a lab. Again, Packet Tracer is free. David Bomble's lab walkthrough, 10 bucks. It's a killer deal. I would recommend getting both of these if you can. Now, a popular option is to actually get physical equipment for your lab. You know, what are you going to need in your lab? Well, you need routers, switches. That's pretty much it, right? Uh, but you might need a few of them, and it could get kind of pricey. Now, this is a lab package you can buy on Amazon. You can also go on eBay and buy a lab. I understand people want to be able to use physical hardware. I still recommend you use Packet Tracer or Boson. Now, I should also mention that CBT Nuggets also has Packet Tracer Labs on Jeremy's course as well when he, go th when he goes through the ICND-1 and ICND-2. So you'll have that as well, so keep that in mind. And I've heard some good things about Cisco's Learning Labs, but they are on the pricier side. I don't think there's any kind of deals on that uh, price, so just be wary of that. Now, I will say that this right here, this $395 price tag on this Amazon deal, notice it's for CCNA and CCMP. The other option I'm not really mentioning right now for the CCNA is a GNS3. This is what most network engineers use for their day-to-day -day job when they want to lab up something before they actually deploy it. So when you're deploying a change to a router or a configuration, you might lab it up in GNS3 because it actually uses real iOS images, real Cisco stuff, and then you can test it before you deploy it. It's also great for labbing. I use GNS3 heavily when I was studying for my CCMP uh, test. Tests. But the downside for the CCNA, especially if you're fresh into learning all this stuff. It's a little difficult to set up. Not crazy difficult, but there are a few hurdles. Now, I did post a video on Friday about how to set it up in the cloud, so basically you don't need any hardware like you normally would. Like with GNS3, you run it on your local computer, but it requires a lot of RAM and CPU. Uh, most people put it on an external server like one of their own. Uh, they might put it on a big beefy Dell server they buy in a, in a on eBay. But with the example I gave on Friday, I'll put the link below and up here, uh, you can put it in the cloud for free, access it, get up and running within like 15 minutes. I'll walk you through it. So if you want to check out GNS3, how most network engineers lab up their environments and how most of them go forward with advanced certs, that's also a way to do it. So check that out. It's pretty cool. And now let's look at our practice exams. Now notice I only have one on here because it's the one I think is pretty stinking cool. Alpha Prep is not just a practice exam software. It doesn't just give you a bunch of questions and you go, oh, I got 50% right, 50% wrong. No, it's not how that works. What it does is it kind of grades you and preps you with machine learning and AI and makes sure you're ready. It's awesome. I used it in the past just kind of demoing it, but it'll like give you a percentage of how ready you are. Like, oh, you are, you know, 65% ready for your exam. You might want to study these materials. It'll give you a breakdown on what you need. It's a lot more advanced than most practice exam softwares I've seen. And it should get you all the way up to 100% certainty that you're ready for the exam. They have like a pass guarantee, so you might want to check them out. That's pretty cool. Now, I listed a lot of resources, and some of you might be going, wow, that's a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money right now to get all that stuff. I'm feeling kind of intimidated. I get that, and I would never want you to feel that way or feel like you can't start right now because you should absolutely start right now. So if you're feeling kind of weird, if you can't afford CBT nuggets, um, here's what I would do right now. This is what I would do. Do you have $10? You have 15 bucks? I would go and get David Bomble's Packet Tracer Labs course and just start working through that. You'll get hands-on lab experience. You'll kind of learn as you go uh, through the labs. That'll get you started. So do not wait to start. Do not wait to have all the perfect material in the world to get your CCNA. No, 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 no. Start with, with what you can, seriously. And there's also free stuff out there. I don't recommend going for free stuff because it's normally not the best. However, you got to do what you got to do, whatever you can do to get started right now. All right, let's break it down real quick. What you need for the CCNA in 2019. You need a good book, so go with the official cert guide from Cisco. You definitely want that. Then you need a good video series. I recommend CBT Nuggets, especially with that price drop to 59 bucks a month. It's kind of a no-brainer. I get it. For some people, that might be a lot. So you can pick up David Bomble's course for ten bucks. Um, he has a whole CCNA course, and it also it also includes GNS3 Labs in that too. And then the Packet Tracer course is also pretty amazing. So that's just like twenty bucks if you get the deal. And then for labs, 
I recommend Boson because it is the simplest way to get set up really quick. It's amazing, and it takes you through just all these pre-built labs that are just perfectly explained. It's amazing, and they'll grade your labs too. Like you'll go through and do the lab, and then you'll grade it, and it'll show you exactly where you screwed up. It's really cool. And then for the exam, practice exams, you're gonna want the Alpha Prep. AlphaPrep.net. It'll test you using machine learning and artificial intelligence to make sure you are prepped and ready to go. Now beyond that, I want to talk about study schedule real quick. Now I've already made videos about this. Um, I have one called 7 CCNA CCMP tips for 2000 and I think it was 17. So it's a while back, but it's still great. And I list some of my best tips to study for the CCNA or any Cisco certification or any other IT certification. Two of the main ones I use, and they're huge. Um, one is the Pomodoro method, where you break up your study time into chunks. So basically, I will set a timer and I'll study the complete focus for 25 minutes. And then I'll take a five minute break, I'll walk away, go do something fun. You know, five minutes, how fun can it be? Make a cup of coffee or something. Come back, do another 25 minute session, completely focused, don't move, then go do it again. Repeat, repeat. After the fourth uh, Pomodoro session, you take a longer break, maybe 15 minutes, 30 minutes. What's cool about that is you make sure you do a certain number of sessions a day. Uh, you know you have a, f a fixed amount of time to just focus. It's really great for your mind. It's awesome. Uh, the other part I would recommend is set a goal and a schedule and set a time and a place. So like maybe every morning before you go to work, you get up maybe an hour earlier and you study. That's your study time. Or maybe right when you get home or maybe at lunch, at work. Set a time, set a place. And then my last bit of advice, if you can, if your finances will allow, schedule your test as soon as you start studying. Decide beforehand, hey, I have this much time. And then, like say maybe a month, and you can, you can do your... C cents in a month. You could do the ICND two in a month. That's kind of aggressive. You might want to stay two months for each test, so four months total. But schedule it out. Say I'm taking my test on this date, and don't waver. Don't change it. Stick to it. Set your study schedule and go. For many people, the CCNA has absolutely changed their life. It changed my life. Many people on YouTube, you can look them up. Changed their lives. They got they changed careers. They got an amazing job. It's awesome, and it opens the door to so many things. It teaches you how to learn, teaches you the basics of networking, and you might just absolutely fall in love with it and never want to stop doing stuff. Like, I mean, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't have any hobbies. <laughs> this is what I do for fun as well. So it's just, it's excellent. Oh, guys, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching till the end. If you haven't already, click subscribe, because I got more stuff coming out. Um, if you like this video, click like. And, um, I think that's about it. Let me know if you like this format, if you like this video. Also, if you want me to answer a question of yours next week, let me know. Don't forget to go and subscribe to mine and David Bomble's new channel, This Is IT. Link below. I'll catch you guys later.